Ever wonder why in most mammal species, guys are bigger, but for spiders, the female is the huge scary one? You think evolution is all about survival, but you're wrong. It's not about survival, it's about reproduction. Survival is just the pregame you have to win to get to the main event, passing on your genes. Okay, so for mammals like us, Females make a massive biological investment. We're talking pregnancy, the dangers of childbirth and nursing. It takes insane amounts of energy. The male investment, biologically, it's small. This makes females the bottleneck for reproduction. So what happens? Males must compete for access. This competition favors size and strength. So if males are built for competing, what's the female mammal's strategy? survival for herself and her offspring. Her body is optimized to store energy for that high investment job. And the best way to store energy? Fat, not just fighting muscle. This is all driven by hormones. Testosterone promotes muscle mass, estrogen promotes energy storage, and, key fact, tells the growth plates to close earlier. This is a major reason for the average height difference. But, Check out this plot twist, the spotted hyena. The females are bigger, stronger, and way more aggressive than the males. Why? Their bodies are flooded with androgens, like testosterone, making them the dominant ones. Nature is wild. So why are those spiders and insects the opposite? There are strategists, the quantity over quality model, they lay thousands of eggs and offer zero parental care. It's good luck, kids. In that system, the most successful female is the one who can physically produce the most eggs. And for that, you need a bigger body. The male's size barely matters. It's not about better or worse. It's just evolution finding the most efficient path to pass on the genes.